All right, so now we're going to automate this uh, corrective blend shape. So at the moment, we've got this corrective blend shape here and we've got the fix, but if we leave it on, the blend shape will remain on. So uh, this is the fix, the Big Buck Bunny one extracted uh, as a fix on, fix off. So we want to automate this process. So how do we do that? Well, we do it with blend with driven keys. So the driven key menu uh, or window we can get to by going to the animate menu. And then we want to come down to uh, driven keys, uh, create, set driven keys, and then set. This is our set driven key window. And once this is up, uh, we need to automate this process. So we want the driven to be the blend shape node. So quick way of selecting the blend shape node is just to go there, uh, click on the blend shape and then go edit select node. And then we can just go load driven. That will load that straight in. There's, this is the attribute that we want to actually control. So we're going to click on it. Now the driver is the attribute that changes uh, when we want this to go on and off. So in this case, we want to switch our joints on and it's this uh, thigh skin joint left. So when it rotates up 90 degrees on the Y, uh, we want it to switch on and off depending on what that, what that Y value is doing. <coughs> so let's go load driver and it's the Y rotate value. So uh, when that's all the way up, I've just got this keyed in the timeline, just that, that thing. So when it's all the way up at 90 degrees, we want to come in here to blend shape and you can switch between these two just by clicking on them. Uh, just to make sure we've got the attributes selected. And we want to key that uh, there. So when that's up at 90 degrees, we want that blend shape to be on, which it is. So we can go key. And then we can come back down here. So when the, the, the thigh skin joint is it zero, we want that blend shape to be completely off. So let's just switch that off and we can hit <coughs> key again. Now you'll notice that that's automatically kicking in and it's not only automatically kicking in there, it's actually automatically kicking in when we rotate the joint, which is exactly what we want. So that for any animation, whether it's got IK or whatever on it from now on, will kick in when that Y value starts to rotate up. So really that's as easy as it is. Now we've just got to check one thing, um, which is a minor thing, but it's worth looking into. And if we go to the graph editor, you can see that by default, um, if you've just got my default preferences, uh, the blend shape, this uh, driven key, you can actually see it as a curve, which we can see here. Uh, it actually has like a, an ease in and an ease out on it. That's just because by default, my, uh, my tangents are set to auto, um, but we don't want this for the blend shape. We actually just want spline keys, which is uh, this one here, I believe. Spline those, and uh, that will work as expected. Um, and th then we've got it uh, at finished off. So you don't want to have your driven keys usually to have these um, these sorts of ease in, ease outs because it's matching just 100% with what the rotation is doing. So we want to have uh, simply spline tangents to fix that up. Um, so once that's done, you can close everything down and you now have uh, a free uh, automated uh, corrective blend shape happening, which uh, works really nicely. So that's how we do that.